Hi, I'm Jan Davis, and welcome to Functional Treatment Ideas and Strategies in Adult Hemiplegia. We'll go through a step-by-step -step process of how to select and use functional activities taken from real-life situations to help your patients be more independent. I've designed this program to be interactive. Watch the videos, follow along with the training manual, as we observe four patients, beginning with their interviews. Can you use your right hand for anything to help as a helping hand at home? Mm -hmm. Tom had his stroke four months ago. His upper and lower extremity movements and function are typical of patients we see in therapy today. Clint has made great progress since his stroke four months ago. He's functioning at a high level. He is a good example of continuing therapy because pain and edema are limiting his functional abilities. Alice had her stroke 10 years ago. The high tone of her right upper extremity is limiting. However, by using functional activities, we begin to see some nice changes. I chose Dick to illustrate how we can use functional activities to both evaluate and treat problem areas that are specific to trunk control and weight shift. This program is designed to be interactive. As you watch, you'll also be participating only when you have watched all the video segments and finished all of the practice sessions will the program be complete. Now, let's begin. The process begins with gathering information. This provides the basis of our evaluation. I'll show you how I interact with a patient and help you learn to sharpen your observation skills. Next, we'll take all of this information and begin problem solving. During clinical reasoning, we'll determine the patient's key problem areas and prioritize them in a way which will make your therapy the most effective. Then I'll show you a way to establish goals that are easy to write, have functional outcomes, and meet the standards of third-party payers. I'll give you several examples. And finally, taking all of the information we've gathered, we'll determine just what to do in treatment. When I develop my treatment program, I can either begin by preparing my patient for function or I can begin directly with functional activities. This is where it all comes together. How are we going to take it out? Well, let's see. We need to problem solve that a little bit, don't we? Using activities from everyday living in our therapy program can help the patient bridge the gap between the clinic and home. How's that feel? It's okay? This is especially true for patients who have cognitive or perceptual impairments. In either case, whether we prepare the patient for function or use functional activities, we must go through the entire process to develop a strategy. We must also evaluate the effectiveness of each treatment session. This helps us to modify and refine our therapeutic methods, resulting in the highest level of success. That feels more normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only way we truly know the effectiveness of our treatment methods are by our patient's response. Uh huh. See if you can just hold that. There you go. 